New at 5.30 tonight, today is National Trauma Survivors Day. It's part of Mental Health Awareness Month. And most will tell you healing physically after traumatic injury is only part of the challenge. CBS 2's Tony Aiello has more on the mental and emotional toll on trauma survivors. As a level one trauma center, Westchester Medical sees many traumatic injuries and takes a holistic approach to treating survivors. Well, I think we've recognized over the last 10 years, certainly that the injuries that people sustain are not just physical in nature. The families of the patients, the patients themselves have tremendous psychosocial needs. Wednesday, this National Trauma Survivors Day seminar brought together caregivers, families, and survivors. And the thing that brought me joy was actually incredibly difficult after my accident. Avid cyclist um, Megan Sperry just... suffered traumatic brain injury during a ride. Go out for a bike ride, wake up in the hospital. She told me emotional and mental health support has been a major part of her healing. And so you just have to figure out who you are in the midst of the healing and the recovery, and you have to find your people to help you and to listen to you. Retired cop Mike McCutcheon was hit by a vehicle while helping out at an accident scene. Losing a leg and an eye made him doubt he could recover until he realized so many still counted on him. I was on the phone with my daughter and I was crying, and she says, Dad, I said, you can't give up because you got to walk me down the aisle. There's a lot more to, to live for that I can, get, I can get through this. Not every day along the path of recovery is going to be a good day. It all depends on how you define a good day. And a good day is being alive and being a part of the recovery process. In Valhalla, Westchester County, Tony Aiello, CBS 2 News. And many of the survivors at today's event now counsel others who've experienced traumatic injury. They say peer support is a key component of the healing process. It is also Mental Health Awareness Month, and singer Lady Gaga and her mother, Cynthia, created the Born This Way Foundation, where mental health is the focus year-round. More than a foundation, mm -hmm. it's a movement that was inspired by my daughter's mental health struggles and some very authentic conversations that she had with young people around the world who had similar experiences. In an interview that first aired on CBS News New York at 9 a.m., Lady Gaga's mother shares more about the foundation that helps young people get the help they need. You can stream that story much more 24-7. Just download the CBS News app and then click live. You can also find us on Pluto TV and other streaming services.